Hi guys, in this video we're going to be introducing potential difference, then we'll be understanding potential difference, measuring the potential difference, and finally we'll have a summary. So let's introduce this concept of potential difference by asking the question, what causes charges to move around a circuit? We have said before that we need a cell or battery to produce a current in a circuit. So here we have a picture of a circuit. And if we want current to flow around these wires, then we need to have a battery. So what does this cell or battery actually do to push this current around a circuit? Well, the cell or battery provides something called a potential difference and charge will only flow around a circuit if there is a potential difference. Sometimes we call a potential difference a voltage. So far this idea of potential difference might seem quite abstract and confusing. So let's try to compare potential difference to something that we are more familiar with. An analogy that might help is comparing changes in potential to changes in height on a slide. So let's take a look at a slide. As we climb a ladder, we increase our height. In the same way, the potential increases as a charge is passed through a cell. So on the right hand side, we imagine a charge which passes through a cell. And in our slide analogy, this is the same as climbing up the ladder. Something we might ask is, in the context of this slide, what did climbing the ladder really do for us? Well, this increase in height will allow us to slide back down to the ground level. In the same way, the charge having moved through the potential difference of the cell is now able to move through the circuit. Now, as we slide down a steep part of the slide, our height is going to decrease. And remember, in this analogy, the height represents the potential. So here is our first decrease in height. This is just like the potential dropping as we pass through a component in the circuit. So as the charge moves from here through to the other side of the component, just like the height above ground has decreased, the potential has decreased. Now when we reach the bottom of the slide, we're going to be back to ground level. In the picture, we go down through one more steep part which is the analogy of going through the last component in the circuit diagram. Notice that once we get to the bottom of the slide, the height is zero. If we want to go round the slide again, we would have to go back up the ladder. In a similar way, now that our charge has traveled all the way round the circuit, it is back to a potential of zero. The charge can pass back through the battery again and gain potential, and this would let it go around the circuit again, just how going up the slide would allow us to go around the slide again. So how do we measure potential difference? Well, we measure potential difference using a voltmeter. This is how the voltmeter looks in real life. And this is what the circuit component for the voltmeter looks like. Now you may know that if we want to measure the current for a component, we put an ammeter in series with it. However, if we want to know the voltage across a component, the voltmeter needs to be connected across that component. So let's say we want to know the potential difference across a light bulb. Then we take the voltmeter and we connect it across this component. Another way of saying this is we can say that the voltmeter is connected in parallel with the component. We have to connect our voltmeter across a component because we are measuring the difference in potential always between two points. Looking at a slightly more complicated circuit which has a motor and a light bulb. If we want to know the potential difference across the light bulb, we have to connect the voltmeter in parallel with the light bulb. But if we want to know the potential difference across the motor, we need to attach the voltmeter in parallel with the motor. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCSE physics and combined science resource, 
Join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the SnapRevise smiley face and together let's make physics at GCSE a walk in the park.